What's up guys, I just finished watching The Last of Us Season 1 Episode 9. I wanna share my thoughts and review the episode of the last episode of this season. So, without spoilers, I think it was pretty good. Not the strongest, not the weakest. Very short, something like 40 minutes long and rush in my opinion. I love the acting of course, the last shot of Ellie face was fucking great. Okay, she's a great actress. Of course, Joe, Pedro Pascal, great fucking actor. So the acting was great, of course the music very thematic, yes. I love the CGI of the destroyed city, I love the beginning of the episode, we got some flashback of course. And the story, I was very curious how they gonna wrap this up, because I never played the game. How basically they gonna end yes, this season, so. The story is very interesting. And yeah, overall 8 out of 10, like I said, not the strongest, not the weakest, very short. Uh, but overall great the story is very interesting how basically they end this and i'm gonna jump to the spoiler section and share more thoughts what i think about this story yes it's very fucking a little bit not realistic whatever it is, what it is so basically the episode starts like we got flashback yes of ellie's basically mother she was rolling away if yes and she is uh, through the woods, she just go to the house and zombie just chase her. And she was pregnant, of course, with Ellie. And you know, she was she just lacks her self yes in the fucking room. And she was given the birth and zombie just attacked of course. It was a little bit strange, but whatever. She just put the knife, yes, of course, yes. Put out the knife. Zombie just attacks her and bites her and basically she just killed the zombie with the knife and Ellie was born and that's why basically she is immune and I wanna jump at the basically end of the episode because it was fucking strange how they wrap this story up and the game this works in my opinion in the fucking series it's the weakest part but I'm gonna share more what's later so basically you know the ellie was born and i love very realistic child <laughs> like they use real kind of you know burn child in the series yes in the beginning so that was fucking great and basically next we got this chick yes who wanna do the cure of course yes and uh, she just came to the room and basically she just take ellie and just you know take care of my child and kill me the mother of ellie just you know she was like take my child okay how long we are we, we, we know each other all lives okay so take my child and then kill me she basically do this she just take ellie and the mother just says like okay the child is ellie yes you are good good dialogue there In my opinion the dialogue something about this episode feels off a bit for me it's not realistic like enough because the beginning of the episode the ending not lent well in my it lands like what the fuck maybe they're gonna explain more you know and explore more in the season three whatever because i'm gonna criticize the ending basically uh you know just take the child yes right here this Oh, take my child, we, we, we. as you can see, young fucking child. Basically, we just jumped to the Ellie. Ellie was very, you know, she was thinking about something. Of course, maybe from the previous episode, yeah, like she killed some fucking guy. She just chopped his head off, so she was traumatized. And I like this detail. Okay, she was not focused, yes. Joel basically tried to, you know, talk to her. She was not focused. They just walked through the city. And you know they were all doing some jokes. Uh, I remember Joe found some stupid game. And yeah, you can beat me on this game because this game was Lara basically talking or something. Like okay, stupid joke. Basically, they were walking and they just go yes to the fucking. And I'm gonna be honest. The the relationship between Ellie and Joe it wasn't strong enough. At the beginning of the episode uh, of the fucking series was great. The build up was great. But I don't feel like they are, you know, like strong fucking relationship. I just feel like, okay, they are 
pretty, you know, friendly, but not like like this series wanted to feel me to get it. Did. So basically, uh, you know, they were going to the fucking building, and Ellie, okay, just I'm gonna give you the end, just climb there and give me the ladder. And basically, she was doing that, and she just ran. And Joel, like, hey, wait, bitch, wait, Ellie, yes. And I like this detail, like, Joe. They give Joe very good motivation. And I know, like, they basically tease this with the fucking dialogue. Uh, I don't know if this is good, guys. Like, uh, the Joe basically treats Ellie like her, his daughter. But at the same time, it's so fucking, like, come on, bitch. I don't know. I like, like, this, like, you know, Joel is a fucking, how to say, great character. He is not good and evil. He is both. He is fucking serial killer. <laughs> I don't know. So, basically, I don't like this kind of thing. It's realistic, maybe. Take. He got some motivation. So, Ellie just climbed the fucking building and just see the fucking giraffe. And she was smiling. Hey, what's up? Judges climbed there too, and basically, he was feeding the giraffe yes, with the fucking leaves. And she goes, uh, They have to do stupid dialogue. And whoa, this was the fucking zoo in the fucking zombie universe. Yes, you watch this stuff. And it was beautiful cinematography, beautiful buildings, of course. Yes, they had some stupid dialogue, blah blah blah. And basically, they were walking around and Joe was, you know, stops and they were talking about Joe's daughter. I missed the shot. I missed the fucking shot because I have perfect shot, but I just, you know, don't kill the soldier who kills my daughter. Blah, blah, blah. That's why he is not, uh, he, he got messed up here or something like this. You had this stuff. So I like this detail, like they talk, and they just foreshadow this, like, okay. He got the motivation, like, he just missed, and he just blamed himself, like, he just missed the shot. And I like this motivation, good motivation. But at the same time, come on, dude, you're gonna be a serial killer and kill, I know, 20 people. No one's gonna fucking hurt you. It's a little bit not realistic, in my opinion. This this can work in the video, video game, but I don't the, the fucking ending was a little bit weak. I'm gonna be honest. So basically, you know, they were walking and on the fucking city, blah blah blah, and they just get attacked. And basically, this chick, yes, who, who promised the fucking kill, uh, like uh, for the to mistake Ellie, yes, when she was a child. Yes. Basically, you know, her fucking platform just capture them, and draw just wake up. Where is Ellie? Where is Ellie? And. This chick just, you know, say like, hey, her brain, in the brain, basically, this stupid fucking cells or something like this. We're gonna make cure from Ellie brain. And I am kind of like, kill fucking Ellie. <laughs> Guys, I am fucking team kill Ellie, because one life, and you can save fucking humanity. Get the idea, if the cure is real, and... They don't give any reason like the cure is not real in this series. If the cure is fucking real, why you don't kill Ellie? I don't care. Just cure the fucking humanity. But I like the motivations. I like, like the characters are great. But at the same time, you are a fucking serial killer. And I don't know if I like this take on Joel. So basically, you know, he was like, okay. But why are you blah, 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 you know? Why are you killing her? You had this stupid shit. He was pissed off, like, I got the choice. Basically, the leader is this chick, and I kind of like this fucking leader, this chick. Uh, she just give him a knife, yes, and just... He, he don't kill him. That was her mistake. But in my opinion, Joel is a fucking bad guy right now. He just kill innocent people. So many people die because of him. And so many people basically, you know, turn, gonna turn zombie and gonna be dead because of this decision. So I'm like, what the fuck? 
if the cure is working, but the series just don't give explanation like the cure is not working or something. So basically, you know, uh, the two soldiers just, uh, how to say, escort Joe and Joe just, you know, attacks one guard and kill one and kill another one. And he was very focused, like, okay, I'm not gonna fucking switch because he was talking with Ellie, like, I just fucking, you know, stop. And my, I just basically f was frozen when someone killed my daughter. Yes, he watched this stuff. So he, he is not in killing mode. He starts fucking kills everyone in this stupid building, like 20 people who just killed him. I am like, what the? Fuck? Or maybe more. And no one fucking seriously kills him. He's, he's like the best fucking soldier ever. He's like the best fucking, you get it, the idea? It's like not realistic in my opinion. And they just beat his fucking, I don't know. He got the motivation like, okay, I cannot live without Ellie. I cannot live without my daughter. Wee, 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 wee. Dude, you're gonna fucking, uh, you're gonna destroy the whole world, motherfucker. Because of you, yes? Because of Ellie. Just kill this bitch and that's it. Just take the cure. Like I said. They even don't basically explain like the cure is fake. Maybe the cure is real, so it's like, okay, whatever. So basically, uh, Joe starts fucking killing everyone. He was very focused. He was killing people. What the fuck? I don't like this. Okay. So basically, he just came to this Ellie. Ellie was, you know, he was she was sleeping because she was on drugs, yes. And the doctor just starts to all the fucking operation and Joe was like hey uncover her and the doctor was no and he just killed the fucking doctor and basically another chick just you know take care of Ellie and she just take Ellie on the fucking hands and he just basically go to the fucking elevator he just throw down and this leader just came I don't know if I like this like it's so strange and the leader was like hey we can be friends, you know, just take Ellie, you're gonna fucking, seriously, she gonna grow up, she gonna ba 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 ba, she, she gonna leave you, motherfucker, you must, you know, basically, you're gonna fall world, gonna die because of her, because of you, and she was right, like, maybe Ellie, you know, was ready to sacrifice her own life, so, he, ju he just shoot this bitch, she just take the gun down, and I'm like, why are you doing this, bitch? Just hold the gun. Hold the fucking gun. Don't trust this motherfucker. He was killed. He killed so many fucking people of you. Whatever. This is the story, of course, Terran. And I, in my opinion, this is the weakest part of the story. Just take the gun down. And the jaw just shoots her. And, of course, we got the shot. Like, he was traveling into the fucking car. And the car. And they were travel. And they have the dialogue. And... I'm assuming Ellie knows. Ellie fucking knows like he kills them. Ellie fucking knows like he she kill uh, he kills them. But she was asking the questions and I love the last shot of her expression of the face like Yeah, you know, promise me. Promise me like cause he just tell her a story like uh, some someone attacks Fedra attacks fucking uh, you know this hospital or something like this. She was not buying this. Basically, promise me if this version was true. And I like this detail, like, you know, they give Joe, like, he is the parent, you know, desperate parent, like, he was talking about his daughter, like, and now he's treating her like his daughter, but at the same time, shut up. It's, it's so strange. They were talking like, hey, I don't feel the connection as strong. Seriously, I don't feel the connection as strong uh, as should be, in my opinion. He was talking, you know, about the daughter and, yeah, you would be liking each other, blah, blah, blah. You are not that girly like she was, and but you are funny. And Ellie was like, okay, and at the last shot, I love this expression of the face. Guys, that was great. Promise me if the version was true. Because she was not buying this, like, yeah, you killed them. And basically, she was asking the question, what about the leader of the fucking resistance or whatever it was so strange so basically 
uh, she was like, I promise. And she had the expression like, you lying, motherfucker. But okay. Because they were basically going to the base of Joel's brother. Joel basically is serial killer. Joel is a fucking uh, narcissistic motherfucker who uh, don't gonna sacrifice some girl. Of course, he treats now he got PTSD because he just find you know purpose in life because he got Ellie. Man, I don't know. They should, in my opinion, the connection between Ellie and Joel is not the strongest. And in my opinion, the landing, the last fucking episode, this episode, this story wasn't that satisfying enough. But I kind of get it what they tried to do, yes. He basically got the motivation, like, okay, he he basically blaming himself because the daughter was dead, yes. He can save his daughter. Now, in this episode, he gonna save Ellie 100%. He goes in fucking killing mode, but at the same time, this, this can work in fucking ser uh, video game. I don't think this works very great in fucking. I think it's it's rush. This episode was rush. One episode more, and we got different kind of story. Explain more if the cure is good or not. Explain more. You get it, the idea. I don't know, something about this feels not satisfying enough. 8 out of 10, I'm gonna record separate video with my stupid face maybe, and I'm gonna review the whole series, yes, because I never played the game. Thank you for listening to this stupid, uh, my talk, yes, and watching this stupid video. See you on another one. 8 out of 10, bye guys.